playing a variety of different sports, you're going to be exposed to different coaches and to different kids, different peer groups. There are a multitude of different skills that you can pick up across sports, and those skills will help you in the sport of your choice. I have seen athletes, uh, high-level athletes, that have been negatively affected by specializing too early, uh, both physically and emotionally. And I think when too much pressure is put on an athlete, uh, whether it's uh, put on by themselves, by their parents, or by their coaches, uh, it can have the negative outcome and it can actually hurt their development. Uh, and I've seen some uh, young athletes actually lose their passion for their sport um, and they just turn away from it and turn to other harmful things. The skills that you use on the football field as a quarterback help you as a catcher behind the plate in baseball, and they can help you as a forward in basketball on the basketball court. It, it's really, to me, like cross-training. They're all different body movements. And I think when I look back at my childhood, that those were the fondest memories for me when I look back at playing in a variety of different sports. I played home run derby at Central Park, and we played hot box in the front yard, and we played road hockey. Think of the cardiovascular benefits of playing soccer. Think of the eye-hand coordination to, uh, benefits to a hockey player who also plays baseball or, or other type sports. So I think that there are some skill opportunities that you can transfer and you can acquire and pick up. And the things that you do on each field help in the other, but not only physically, but I think the mental part of it was a bigger one for me too, because when I think of maybe playing baseball 12 months a year, and I never did that, and thank goodness I never did that, because to me, when baseball season was over, it was time to move on to the next sport. You want your brain at 100%, and by not giving yourself that, that chance to rest it uh, and, and to do something different, there isn't a whole lot of impact in baseball. Uh, there isn't a whole, you know, swimming, there isn't a whole lot of impact at all. Uh, you're doing something completely different, so you're resting other areas that were asked to really, truly perform hard over the last nine months, you're giving them a chance to rest. And your brain's gonna continue to, uh, to try and heal itself um, and get yourself back up, but if you don't give it those, the three months to do that, two or three months to, to get back to, to where you were, um, you're, you're at a deficit to start the next season. Most athletes that we see, whether I saw them as a coach with young kids in amateur sport, or at the high school, college level, or even at the professional level, in the major leagues, baseball. These guys are great athletes. They're very good baseball players, of course, but they're also great athletes. Miguel Cabrera told me that he played soccer, he played volleyball, and he loved a variety of sports. I think it's important to, uh, to touch them all, especially in, in terms of finding out uh, what, what you really truly want and, and what you like. We might perceive that our kid wants to to do a certain sport and have we not tried out another they might not have been opened up to it and you know by doing that they, they might turn on to truly love baseball if for instance we thought they were into hockey but by closing the doors uh, we're, we're closing the doors and their opportunities so it's good to have a, an open mind on this. We want to see them enjoy sport for what it is uh, enjoyment, development, socialization and hopefully a lifelong uh, love of fitness. So I think it's important for local organizations to have seasons for their sport too and say it's absolutely okay when that season is over you move on to the next sport and we'll see you when the season starts again next year. But you need that cooperation with our local organizations and of course through our school systems as well. Mm -hmm.